Grade 7 learners, welcome to Tele Aralan Sanaga. I am Mama Nishana, your science teacher for today. Before we start with our lesson, make sure that you have your last for this week, a ball pen, a textbook, and of course, prepare yourself physically and mentally. Have a comfortable seat. Remember that a good posture will save you from boredom and be focused on our lesson. I'm pretty sure that you're now ready. Today's lesson is about a sexual reproduction. This lesson will be focusing on the three objectives. First, define vegetative reproduction. Second, explain how potatoes reproduce and the advantages of vegetative reproduction. And third, propagate plants vegetatively. After this, I hope that you can get your green dogs working. Are you ready? Why don't we jump start our today's discussion by playing a game? First, I will display on the screen a word search puzzle. Within a minute, you must find and write in your notebook at least five related words to a sexual reproduction. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started! you with fun and meaningful activities for guided and independent learning at your own pace and time. There are several ways by which organisms reproduce asexually. In this activity, let us examine how a potato reproduces asexually. A potato is a tuber with a specialized stem which functions as a food storage organ. Let us investigate how tubers can be used in growing new plants. You will perform activity 1. Can you grow new plants from ice? We will do this at home and I will demonstrate the activity to you in this video lesson. 
These are the materials that you will need. Potato, ginger and sweet potato are other options. Two pots filled with garden soil, trowel, knife, and water. First, examine the potato. Can you see the depressions? These are the eyes or buds. Cut the potato into pieces with each piece having an eye. Observe how the cut pieces look. Set aside the cut pieces for 2 to 3 days. Draw and describe how the cut potatoes look after 3 days. After 3 days, plant each piece in a pot about 10 cm deep. Set the tuber so that the eyes points upward. Question number one. Can you give a reason why it is better to plant the cut pieces with an eye pointing upward? Set aside the pots in a shady area. Water the soil every day to keep it moist. Question number two. How many eyes from each potato were you able to get? Question number three. How many new shoots grew from each potato eye you planted? Question number four. What is the advantage of using this type of propagation? Report the progress of your work to your teacher. Discuss your work in class. After this activity, you may transplant the potato plants in your backyard. You may harvest the potatoes within 10 weeks. Check how many potatoes can you harvest from one plant. Let us examine another plant, the kalanchu. Examine the leaf margins. Question 5. What are those small plants called? Explain why this plant is also called Mother of Millions. Question 6. Can you say that this plant propagates vegetatively also? Why? Why not? Great job! Did you enjoy the process? As your post-club activity, you will transfer questions 1 to 6 in your LAS and I will check them as you pass it. The activity that you have just performed show how potatoes are propagated vegetatively. From a single potato, several new potato plants can be produced. Potato eyes are axillary buds where shoots can emerge. Potato reproduction is a kind of asexual reproduction where a new individual, known as the offspring, is produced from a single parent with the same genes. Thus, they have the same traits. In other words, the parent and the offspring are identical to each other. Sexual reproduction requires less energy since no mating is needed but can produce many offspring at one reproductive cycle. Vegetative propagation is a mode of sexual reproduction in plants where a new plant can form from roots, stem, or leaf, or an already existing plant. There are several ways by which organisms reproduce asexually, such as eyes in the potatoes, plantlets in kalanchu, stolon or runner in epicia, and strawberry plants, bulbs in onions, rhizomes in ginger.
Aside from potatoes, many economically important plants can be propagated vegetatively. The calancho, a medicinal plant, can reproduce through its leaves. Plantlets can grow around the leaf margin. Now that you know that some other plants reproduce vegetatively, let's assess what you have learned from today's lesson. Answer this in your LAS. Test 1. Tell whether plants 1 to 5 can reproduce vegetatively by writing yes or no on the right column. Was that hard? Nope, just like eating a piece of cake. To further assess today's learning, answer part 2 by writing the chosen letter on your last. Number 6. Which statement best explain how does a sexual reproduction happen in plants? Letter A. Male and female parents are needed. Letter B. Plants' vegetative parts such as leaves, stems, or roots grow into a new plant. Letter C. Plants need to have flowers and seeds to reproduce. And letter D, plants need bees to pollinate the flowers. Number 7. How many parents or parents is are required in a sexual reproduction? Letter A, only one parent. Letter B, two parents. Letter C, multiple parents. Letter D, no parents needed. Number eight, which of the following is the best economic advantage of a sexual reproduction method? A. Lesser time is required to mature the new plant. Letter B. Create large numbers of identical plants from only one parent. Letter C. Keep best traits pure. And letter D. New plants can easily respond to the changes in their environment. Number 9. Which economically important plants are produced vegetatively? A. Yellow ginger or turmeric. Letter B. Onion. C. Pineapple. Letter D. All of this. And last question. Number 10. Which pair of item below is a mismatch? A. Potato, ice, calancho, plantlets, rice, runners, onion, bulb. Now, please self-check your answers by referring to the answer key. For number one, the answer is yes. Number two, yes. Number three, no. Number four, yes. And five, no. For part B, number six, B. Seven, A. Eight, B. Nine, D. And ten, letter C. Very good, grade 7. Job well done. For your performance task, I dare you to do the Young Plantito or Plantita Challenge. This challenge will last for a month. You will search and select an ornamental plant that you can grow vegetatively. And then sell the plants online when ready. You can post it on FB page, Marketplace, and other social media platforms. Use the hashtag YoungPlantitoPlantita and tag me on your post.
Make a report of your sales after a month. Also, please be guided with the rubrics given. What are you waiting for? Let's get your hands dirty! Good luck! Lastly, for your assignment, be ready for the next lesson by searching answers for the following questions. Number 1. What is another mode of reproduction? How do plants reproduce sexually? Name some plants that multiply in this mode. Differentiate asexual and sexual reproduction. Congratulations for finishing today's science lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, you can explain what vegetative reproduction is and describe how potatoes reproduce. You have realized the advantages of using vegetative reproduction and propagating plants vegetatively. Once again, I'm Mama Nishinana reminding you to practice the habit of excellence. Thank you and have a nice day. See you again on our next learning session. Bye-bye!